are ye be here? I hope this video finds you in great spirits. Today, we are going to talk about inspection chambers. But before we begin, if you like this video, go ahead, smash the like button. If you've not already subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to share this video with family and friends. Gray PVC pipes are for waste water flow away from the building to the septic system. Black PVC pipes are for water supply to the building from the borehole, from the well in the backyard. What you see against the wall are inspection chambers under construction. These chambers are access points to the network of drainage pipes running underground. They are used for maintenance of the pipes and for removal of blockages from the pipes. Yes, you see the black pipe supplying water to the guest powder room. The inspection chamber for the toilet in the guest powder room. Gray pipes, black pipes running in the ground. We get to a double inspection chamber. Uh, that is for one of the bathrooms upstairs. You see um, the big pipe uh, coming from the toilet into the inspection chamber. Uh, in the next chamber, you have the uh, smaller of the two gray pipes. Uh, that would be for the sink and the shower in one of the bathrooms upstairs. And then you do see the black water supply to that particular bathroom upstairs. A similar setup for the driver's and maid's bathroom. First to the left, waste water coming from the toilets, black pipe supplying water, small gray pipe for waste water from the shower and sink. Next, the inspection chamber for the laundry room. Black pipes furnishing water to the laundry room. Gray pipe for waste water out of the laundry room to the septic system. Here, a double inspection chamber. Let's take the pipes from left to right. The first two are from the bathroom upstairs. The third black PVC pipe furnishes water to the kitchen and the bathroom upstairs. The fourth for waste water from the kitchen. In this zone, we're gonna have three inspection chambers side by side. I call it a triple. Uh, we'll come back and take a closer look at them once they are constructed. Uh, you also see a black water supply line over there that is for an external sink just outside the kitchen and that is the drainage pipe for the external sink we expect to be cooking outside the kitchen the african way we're going to be making akume and fitri desi we are going to be making fufu and in katikwine or fufu and a benkwine uh, we're going to make it all the african way so we're going to have that external sink uh for cooking outside at this time, let us do a retrospective on water supply 
running through the black PVC pipes. On this project, the borehole was drilled manually. In the video, you can see a group of tough guys. I mean, real tough guys getting the job done. We struck water at 38 meters deep. Just an awesome job all around. Kudos to you guys. I chose the manual approach to drilling primarily because it is cheaper. It is more cost effective. I was informed about the level at which water is struck in the neighborhood in general. So I knew it could be done manually. I chose not to spend funds at the outset to mechanically drill uh, for, um, for water. So that was the, the decision back then. And it's worked out pretty well so far. That is the borehole enclosed by some concrete blocks. It contains a one horsepower water pump. There you go. We have pure water. <laughs> We've got pure water. It's portable. The construction workers tell me they've been drinking the water by the liter. Uh, so all is good. We've got water. So there you have it. The source of water running through the black PVC pipes that we discussed earlier on. The borehole, the well in the backyard is the source. By the way, the water pump in the borehole requires electrical power to function. In view is the borehole or the well. It is covered up. This was day one, when water was pumped for the first time from the well to the rooftop. On the rooftop, we've placed a poly tank. Water is pumped up from the well into the poly tank 
and from the poly tank the water flows back down through the pipes to the building into the building plans call for a second poly tank on the rooftop water from the poly tank you see will run through a filtration system and be placed in a second poly tank filtered water will then run through the pipes down into the house so yes folks there will be a filtration system installed on the rooftop We are back to the inspection chambers. waste water from the guest powder room in the sub basement sink waste water from the sink flows through there waste from the toilets flow through into the pipes One of the bathrooms upstairs, waste from the toilet flows through here. Waste from the shower stall and sink, waste water flows through here. bathroom for the maids and drivers quarters this is for the laundry room I believe that by now you have a very good feel for these inspection chambers. They are used as a point of access to the drainage pipes that run underground outside. They are used as a point of access for maintenance of these pipes and for the removal of blockages that can occur in the pipes underground. Again, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you do come back and watch some more videos on this channel. This is Ayivi. Until next time, Cheers to you.